everyone. Um, I'm trying to do a little vlogging, even though I feel like I've been hit with a one-two punch last weekend. I was feeling exactly like this. Um, horrible sinus pressure. And then after like two days of feeling really not good, it started to fade away. And I, here's my bitty. Um, and I started to think I was feeling better. And now it's back again. Like as of yesterday afternoon, I mean, I took a cold bill yesterday evening. I was able to go out with bub and stuff, but overnight, like it just got way, way worse. And so I think I'm going to go to the same urgent care we took Nugget to last week. And I'm taking her too, cause she's had a real raspy ongoing cough for about a week at nighttime. Um, I'm not sure what they'll tell me I can do for her, but I got my video up and I'm really glad I got that finished this morning. My head just feels like on this side, like somebody is absolutely squeezing it or something. It's so bad. So that's where we're at. Mommy? Hi baby, what do you think? I love you. I love you. <laughs> Alright, well, Biddy and I just left the urgent care clinic. The guy there reminded me so much of my father-in-law. It was ridiculous. It almost like just the way he looked, the way he acted, it was so strange, but really cool because, you know, Joel's awesome. Anyway, <laughs> there's nothing much that can be done for either of us. They gave Biddy a strep test. Um, because he thought her throat looked a little red and they tested it, but there's no strep. Her ears are fine and her um, chest is clear. So she's just had a real bad cough in the night and he suggested honey actually for that. There's not really a lot you can give to a one year old in these situations. For me, he had some suggestions of some certain over the counter things that I could get for all this horrible sinus pressure. Um, so I'm gonna look into that. I mean, he wasn't able to prescribe me anything either, which is fine. But he did take a lot of time to talk us through the things we could get um, over-the-counter wise for me. So um, we're heading home. I need to grocery shop in a major way. Bub's got to do a bocce tournament that's gonna take a lot of the day today. I'm not sure that I'll even attempt going out until he gets home from that later on today. But yeah, that's where things stand. This is such an uninteresting vlog, but this is this is life currently. I mean, this was basically me last weekend too, but I don't wanna miss two straight vlogs, so I'm giving you some coverage on this. You slide in? This is what the doctor told her to get today. This is kitten. Kitten. Duchess, kitten. <laughs> hey, who's Duchess? Which one of y'all's Duchess? Me. Hey guys, um, Sunday morning here, 6.30 a.m. Have not put on my makeup yet, so. Sorry. I did the nasal mist thing last night because my doctor said, you know, maximum of two days because people get hooked on that stuff. But like it really did help clear things up. I noticed it immediately in my nose and then I still felt kind of some pressure around this like cheek area. I guess that's where our sinuses are. But my nose could not have felt more clear. Also, I wanted to touch on this. I have been using um, the Revolution skincare stuff. Like it's a big line of different serums and whatnot and I'm not actually 100% sure what the best thing to be using for me might be. I want to try some of the retinol at nighttime and then maybe use some of the oils. I've gone on and off at night between the CBD oil and the gold elixir which is like a rosehip oil but in the mornings I've been doing the multi-peptide serum and this caffeine hyaluronic acid solution which is a targeted under eye serum. I've been using both of those and then popping this on and sometimes using this also as a primer. Um, 
the super fruit extract. Just trying different combos, seeing how it goes. There's even more in this little bag over here that I haven't uh, really played with. Something I do like is like it'll tell you if it's a PM only product or an AM and PM. It has like a little sun and the moon on there. I do think that's helpful. This uh, moisturizer is kind of cool. It's very, very creamy, but it's not super thick. But yet, once you blend it into the skin, if you've tried any of those water cream type moisturizers, like this reminds me a little bit of the Tatcha, it just melts down immediately. It feels like you're just putting liquid on, but yet it still does offer some hydration. So it's definitely been fun to play with some of that stuff. And speaking of Revolution, I know I've had some questions. The Once is going to be back in stock soon um, within the next couple of weeks online. I think it's going to come online first to the Revolution websites very soon after to Ulta's website. And then on its return to Ulta stores, um, the needs and the wants are going to be positioned in Revolution's permanent display, which is awesome. So you don't have to run around the store thinking, where did they set out that launch display? It'll have its home. It'll have its own home now. So I'm excited for that. And I'll keep you posted on specific dates as I get them. There are new shipments of product coming in and it's hard to say exactly when everything's going to land and when everything's going to be, you know, ready to go in distribution centers and whatnot. Makeup is on. I use my gingerbread spice palette from Too Faced. Ever since I talked about that lip set in a recent video, there's been tons of interest in a review on this. So that's going to be one of the next things that comes up on my channel. Can you tell I've had to keep blowing my nose? Though don't you hate that when you get your makeup on and then you've got to be blowing your nose and so you inevitably undo everything in this general area. But I've just, you know, I'm not even going to try to correct it at this point. But I've got that palette on my eyes. I've used this palette uh, probably four times and I think I've used almost every color in it. Yeah, I believe I I have um, in some form or fashion and as you can see there's a lot of spicy colors in it um, I really like the integration of purpley plums in with that there are a few shades that um, aren't 100% ideal which I'll be discussing in my review but overall as far as I'm concerned that's a color scheme in this palette that I really enjoy but it's got some similarities to something that you may have in your collection so I'm gonna point that out as well What is that? Put a bug. Biddy's still got kind of a pretty thick cough, but um, when she started coughing in the night last night, I gave her the honey, like a half a teaspoon for the night coughing, which is just that laying flat, you know, it's it, the stuff's not draining down, I guess, the way it normally would, because she's better during the day most of the time, but. Hey, hey, hey twiddle bug. Hey, hi, Baker Cat. Baker cat. No grabbies. No Gentle. Gentle pets. Yes, that's nice. Yeah, I know you want to touch that tail, but. Baby says gentle. Great lighting angle here. I gotta say, I am sneezing way more than I was yesterday. Like, I feel like stuff is just, the nasal spray must have loosened up some stuff because I'm constantly like needing to blow my nose and sneeze. Um, don't you love an inspirational message on a Kleenex package? Uh, Biddy's nose won't stop running either. And I remembered, oh my gosh, the nose Frida. And so I think if I get some saline drops and I don't know what happened to our other nose Frida, it's been ages since we used that. Like she was a baby in nursing, I remember when I would have used that last. I'm gonna run to Target and get that. And then Bub also wants some keto pizzas that he heard about that they sell. Normally colds really like, they hit me hard for a couple days, which is exactly what I thought had happened here. Um, you know, this past week, I had a couple days where I just felt completely kicked to the curb and then it went away and I thought well this is a normal pattern colds tend to take with me I usually beat them pretty quick it's like it totally came back to get me and it's nasty and I hate it getting one of these and these as well I think those will be helpful so I found Bub's uh, low carb pizza I got one pepperoni and two in the cheese That's so exciting. right thing yeah it's Just perfect like a couple of things here I found these cute little um, like battery operated pumpkin lights 
And I think they're going to be adorable in with a couple of garlands that I have up, like leafy type things. So I got the batteries for that, which I was like, oh, I'm in the checkout right now. I need batteries. And boom, turn around, there were batteries. I got these Breathe Frida snot wipes, as I pointed out in the store, and found the Nose Frida as well. That thing is brilliant. It's not as gross as it looks like what's happening here. There's stoppers and stuff, but it basically just uses the force of your you know, breathing to help get the snot out. And I think she'll sleep easier with less gunk. At least we do it before bedtime. What's going on, Angel? So a little bit of a like fall kids clothing haul here. It's all basically nookie stuff so that she can wear to school. Um, this dress is a little bit more, I don't know, she probably will end up wearing that to school since she loves dresses, but I got this at Walmart. I think the Walmart stuff is so cute. I got a few things at Target, but the Walmart stuff is just even more precious. This little mini mouse set here, it's so incredibly soft and it comes with these little leggings that I think are so sweet. Also from Walmart, I cannot get over the cuteness of these pants. They're like little sweatpants, but they've got a ruffle down the front and a little bow. So I got the blue, the kind of beigey ones, got a pair of purple ones in that same style. This little unicorn shirt, it has like a faux layered look at the bottom. I mean, I just thought the Walmart stuff was so dang cute. And look how they're doing the sleeves on just like the normal shirts in their little folded shirt section. I love that. I did find a really cute little sweatshirt at Target. Um, look at that cute detail on the shoulders and the ruffle. So that's just like a little sweatshirt. Again, with the comfy pants that are easy for her to pull up and down when she has to go potty at school. Target just had a few options on these and I thought they would probably work with a lot of her stuff in just a plain like pink long sleeve shirt. They also had some cute dresses. I mean both stores had really cute dresses with sleeves but ultimately like I don't know you got to get leggings under them. If it's a cold enough day to where you'd want sleeves you'd also probably want pants as well. Most days they're outside at the end of their uh, little preschool time so which outfit do you like the most? You like that little, it's like a Dalmatian dress. Yeah. Isn't that cute? I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's not as good as regular pizza, but considering. It's cheesy. It's cheesy. bub has got a little sriracha on there. A little sriracha, a little hot sauce. I dig it. Uh, apparently it cooks way faster than they tell you it does though. Cause yeah. We pulled it out like five minutes early and it's still Plenty super, good. super hot. It's not like it's a cauliflower crust thing no, though. It's just no. a gluten free. It's gluten right. free, but it all is real low carb. It's only got six net carbs. Okay. How's that cookie? <laughs> delicious and delightful. Delicious and delightful? Yeah. I love you. I love you. Okay, guys, this is what's finally cleared me up. It's nap time around here, so I was able to take some of this and lay down, and I felt my whole area going up around my, my jaw, you know, top of my teeth, side of my nose, around my eye. I could just feel it all loosening up. And some of y'all are like, yeah, Sudafed, duh. For a long time here, I've either been pregnant or nursing and haven't even had the option to really medicate a cold. But I've just normally powered through. But the doctor said, this is what you gotta get. Gotta have an ID to get that stuff. But uh, got it and uh, really really helping so I'm working on a little meal prep here I've got two pounds of ground beef and um, I've just added a packet of low sodium taco seasoning and a packet of ranch to that I've got my quinoa over here in the microwave <laughs> sorry it's getting steaming I got my steam fresh bag of riced cauliflower which is gonna go in Bucks meals I'm gonna have the quinoa but I'm trying to make like healthy taco bowl type things. We're adding to our either quinoa or rice cauliflower and our ground beef a little mixture of some black beans and corn, just one can of black beans drained and rinsed. Um, this is about half a bag of frozen corn. I love frozen corn. I will work with frozen corn every chance I get. <laughs> and I add in a little bit, about a tablespoon of olive oil, 
and some of this Tony's Creole seasoning. Love this flavor. So I'm just kind of letting that heat up and let those flavors mix a little bit. While Bub is pretty much eating keto, you know, that does allow for a little bit of a carb. So I'm going to use a small portion of what's left for this bean and corn thing. And then I'll have some salsa in there as well. I seasoned up his cauliflower with some salt and pepper. I'm not really sure how well he's going to like that. I think we've had something, some kind of meal prep thing before that involved that. And it just kind of takes on the flavors of whatever you're eating in my experience. So I just kind of tip that part into the bigger dish and mix it all together. And you've got kind of a nice taco thing. And it's the same with the quinoa as well. I mean, that is so easy to work with and easy to make. I've made this sort of meal prep thing quite a bit. This is what the rice cauliflower looks like. Um, they also have a seasoned version as well, like a garlic and herb or something like that, but that split up pretty well four ways. Okay, so here are the finished meals. Um, I added in a heaping spoonful of some salsa there. That's just this Aldi salsa. I think it's really good. Um, I don't really get the medium, but I got the mild here. But it's really satisfying, I think, um, to me because of all the different textures in here. It's really nice to just mix it all together. And sometimes I'm not even hungry enough to finish this whole thing and I'll like stop and have the rest for a snack later or something because it really is quite a bit of food. But when I eat better, I do feel better. So I'm really hoping that if I can make an all out effort to be healthy this week, week I will beat through this cold and whatever else. These containers by the way as you would imagine they do come with lids. Um, they're dishwasher safe, BPA free, you know you can heat them up with no problem. I got them off of Amazon quite a while ago but I can probably find the link and put it down below but they're great. They clean up great. I mean no complaints about these containers. Bub, yes. I'm a new woman with the Sudafed. Yeah. I'm a new woman. Look yes. at me. I'm taking out trash. I'm meal prepping meal prepping. like a boss. I mean I'm used to fighting colds with like tea and a prayer, you know, right. like now I can have something and Sudafed's the bomb apparently. If you got sinus congestion that's like taking over your face, yes. Like what can I do next? That's my question to myself. What can I do next? Here. You can't be stopped. <laughs> oh, there's that. See? What are those, Mommy? Desserts? Okay. That's Anna. There's Olaf. And there's a troll. There's a goose. Need to eat it, buddy. Find the goose egg. Anyone? Anyone? Do you see anyone? 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 Is that your bunny? He flips. He flips. He flips. Oh, buddy! <laughs> Look at you! You're getting ahead of us! little lights. I love them. They look really cute even when they're not turned on because you can see these different kind of multicolored pumpkins and they fit in so well with the actual garland that I put up here which I got from Dollar General and I really like the look of it. It's got little pumpkins and gourds attached. 
Um, but it's fun to have a lighted thing over here, over the little fireplace area. And that's kind of like a, I think a dogwood type arrangement that we've had up there for a long time. The other string of lights I've got kind of over the TV area right now, which I don't think I'm going to love that, so I'm keeping my eyes out for a better placement, but I thought this turned out really, really cute. More fall stuff. I think that was maybe a Hobby Lobby item there. I took another one of those garlands, just exactly the same one as I've got on the fireplace there, and put that on this little window ledge. Um, it looks so pretty when the light's coming through there. We're getting a lot more light coming in from the south because of just this time of year. And so they look like they almost glow when the light's coming through. For nighttime, maybe that other string of lights could look cute in there though. We've got this neat little coat thing here where I've got a pumpkin on that and then some cubby holes. So it's just a nice little place to sit and be able to hang things. Our other hooks are on the back of that door, so this is a lot easier. I mean, typically we don't really have anything hanging here, but um, to have a place for when people come over, they can put their coat. These pumpkins, um, I had like a, I don't know, an eight or 10 pack of these glittery pumpkins from a couple years ago at Target. And I normally put those on the bar, but I thought that looked kind of cute up there. I think Bub got me this as an anniversary gift last year. He got me some fall things. We have a August anniversary, and that's so cute. I like how the light from the lamp kind of comes up to it. He also got me this little canister thing. And then up here on the balcony area, I just have a little like leafy garland. I probably should readjust it so it shows a little more. But we just generally have a pretty autumnal looking living room, it seems like. As you can see, I've got those lights there not turned on. Um, oh, we, I also have some dust there as well, my bad. But like we have this thing from Pier 1 that's always like up in that little corner. Um, this by Pup on the canvas, uh, bless you. These acorns are just always up and they're perfect this time of year. Our pillows kind of match it. Um, Bub, do you have any thoughts on the fall decor? Well, it's on point. You show the bear. I got this as some sort of fall decor way back in our apartment days. I don't know why it spoke to me so much, but this little bear, like, I just, I just knew I needed it in my life, and I put it out all the time, but normally I would put it over on that little table bes beside Bub. The children are just after it, non-stop. They love this bear, so I have to keep it somewhere out of reach. Thanks, Bub. Thanks for helping me complete this segment on fall decor. That's what I'm here for. Bub's going to get a haircut soon. I need it. So am I. Not a drastic haircut for me, just a trim. Okay, children, it's bath time. Well, it wasn't bath time earlier, but it became bath time. It's bath time. It's bath time. It's bath time.